Uh, we got a couple little ones I want to do here before we demise. Chrissy Marr, she's been doing something uh, nasty here, too. And I don't know if I trust her. I don't know if Chrissy, Chrissy Marr, the redheaded girl with the gums, I don't know if she's trying to get on Red Bar now. She's being very confusing. Uh, at first, I thought she had a crush on me. And then she's been saying some hateful things about me. What is this? Chrissy says that we're hateful. Oh, I hate this guy. Listen to this. I haven't watched this video. Chrissy mentions Red Bar with some F briefly during her live stream. Now, we, didn't we just see Chrissy Marr with somebody else? You know, she was saying, oh, yeah, I was with Joe Mattery. She said it was great. Everything I do is a bit. I'm uh, very funny, very needed. Now she's flip-flopping on that, right? Wasn't Chrissy Marr just saying how great we were? And then she does this. Now, what was your idea? You think she's up to something here, Jules? I mean, I don't know. She brings up Red Bar too much for yeah, it to it's a be little innocent. Too and she had a whole podcast with Josh Denning that we haven't even watched. Yeah. Because I feel like it's all a trick by her to get Let's covered see. on Red Bar. Yeah, this is really despicable. She's with some loser, this ski mask guy, and they tried covering us. It didn't work. I'd love to hear this video. People have been talking about this one. Let's see what we got. Like, uh, oh, 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 oh. Little no, no, no. All right. She's going to be talking about us. It seems like almost every episode they talk Literally, about us now. So now us it's every, almost. So now it's like we're doing her bidding by mentioning. Yeah. Her, so so kind of I don't know about this. Well, we're going to find out. Oh, well, people, I think, keep messaging. So here's this message. And it says Chrissy has a crush on Red Bar. OK, I believe it. A lot of people believe it. She has the hots for me. It's never going to happen. Gummo, let's hear what she says. In here, thinks I have a crush on Red Bar. That would be like, uh, what's uh -oh. it called, Stockholm syndrome, when you like love Whoa. the person who hates you. I, I don't know how anybody can. Have, I can't. I can't stand looking at that guy. He oh, just really? He's not weird. bad looking, but as soon as he opens his mouth, you're like, oh, he's full of hate. I don't think that's what the ski mask <laughs> guy was talking about. I can't stand looking at. Him. Well, he's not bad looking. I don't think that's what he meant. And what are you grump? <laughs> Look at this grump here. <laughs> What do you sit up? Sit up! Sit up get up! <laughs> I just can't stand looking at. Oh, okay. This guy is like a compound media fan. Yeah, he's usually a guy who like sits on the. It's bleachers not a real and guy. For Gino Bisconti, yeah. and then now they allowed him to have his own show. He has his own show. Network. It's a compound media fan. Yeah, look at this guy. I just can't. Stand he tried him. to do a little segment with that guy who broke the desk at Compound Media. What's his name again? Steve something. Yeah, we don't even remember. I mean, really, these are throwaway <laughs> little things that we're saying about these guys. And they to tried them, they're to do hanging a big on. thing where they owned us, and then they embarrassed themselves. Yeah. All right, let's look see what comments. Let's see what's said in this clip. Being here thinks I have a crush on Red Bar. That would be like, uh, what's it called, <laughs> Stockholm syndrome, when you like love the person who hates you. Oh, so you admit you love. I, I don't know how anybody can. Have, I can't. I can't stand looking at that guy. He just looks. He's weird. not bad looking, but as soon as he opens his mouth, you're like, oh, he's full of hate. <laughs> and yeah. like, and and um, he's rule. just uh, obsessed with the past. Or or yeah. I get it. Or it's like a bit. Or the past. It's like either he's the most hateful, <laughs> vengeful, sour, salty person. Or he's like really committed to a bit that is is probably not best serving him. I do know his fans are hateful too. Like Whoa, his following. He's talking is just about like, you guys. His fans are hateful. His fans are uh, his Listen followers up, boys, are hateful. This is a message directly to you. I mean, these are the two most hateful people you'll find on the internet. I mean, these people are going after Chrissy Teigen, claiming that she eats her fetuses or something. So let's see uh, how hateful we are. I do know his fans are hateful too. Like his following is just like Red Bar everything. You know, if you like, we trashed Red Bar in one episode and I lost like some listeners. They're like, oh, Red Bar first. And I'm like, fuck you, <laughs> then bye. You know, that doesn't sound hateful. Wow. That's <laughs> really, you took a deep uh, L. That's is that a, supposed to be an own to us. Wow. <laughs> Man, we've talked shit about Red Bar and like a ton of our fans were like, so long, we're siding with Red Bar. <laughs> I wouldn't say that publicly. That doesn't sound hateful, though. I know that stung. It must have felt like hate. Same <laughs> feeling. But uh, that is truly pathetic to say that out loud while slunched. <laughs> have you ever seen a robber look this depressed? <laughs> I mean, really? On, you're bro, supposed you to not be able to. a box full of jewels. Celebrate can you describe the man? Well, he was wearing a ski mask, but I can describe him. He looked severely depressed.
You're supposed the ski mask is supposed to hide your facial features. Uh, this is crazy. I-, I can't believe he's saying this. Let's hear this. They're very hateful. They left our show after this really is committed to a bit that is is probably not best serving him. Well, I do know his fans are hateful too. <laughs> like his following is just like red bar everything. You know, if you like, we trashed red bar in one episode, and I lost like some listeners. They're like, oh, red bar first, and I'm like, fuck <laughs> you, then bye. You know. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't know. She, I mean, knows, that's, she knows that's not the proper <laughs> chime. And, uh, well, uh, what the fuck? This is like a show. You need to work on your owns a little bit. Yeah, that is not a good That one didn't really work. We'll give you more chances. Wow, that really lit me up. Let's see. Red bar everything. You know, if you like, we trashed Red Bar in one episode and I lost like some listeners. They're like, oh, Red Bar first. And I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> the bye, you know? Aw. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess he's doing what he loves. Oh. You know, we can't four hour shows. He's, he's, he's uh, doing what he loves. Four hour shows. Um, by the way, you are a guest. That's a, a lot to Chip. I look forward to the dating show. Oh, thanks, Charlene. Yeah, we've yeah, been trying God to forbid we do a show over fifty two minutes before puttering out. <laughs> Jesus, what an L! <laughs> Unmask that guy. Strip him naked. Yes. All right. Five hundred dollars to who first? Five hundred dollars to ever rip that mask off and throw him naked right in front of me. <laughs> Fly broke. Gino ain't got no money. And fly broke. He's always looking so damn crummy. Fly broke, Gino. Ain't nobody think he's funny. <laughs> <laughs> he can't move. 